from the chair on a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her mother. You guys need to make out. Go ahead. Aw. Oh. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome, baby. That's all you had to do was ask, hon. You know I love you. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, really? Fact. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you. But I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. <laughs> you wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. For now, I should work and think. I'll talk um, to Damn you Damn it! Later. Denied! Bitch! 